Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan, and today is the second episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, in today's episode, it's just going to be a bit of a mining episode, so there's going to be quite a few time lapses and just going through like that. It's uh, It was uh, quite a bit of fun to record this, and... As you may be able to tell, this is a voiceover, not a live recording. And that is unfortunately due to uh, due to me being quite busy and not being able to record both at the same time. Especially on my computer at the moment, it's running a, a little bit slower than usual. So, as such, we're uh, just going to be commentating over this and probably going to be playing a bit of music in between and it's just going to be a really chilled chat session not too much going on just going to be you know 10 minutes of talking I suppose and yeah I mean my week's been ridiculously busy I've had labs on labs on labs and a test or two a couple of projects due and five or six assignments due this week so um, yeah, I've been quite busy this week, but I did get the first jab of my vaccine on Monday, um, Pfizer, that's what's available at the moment for, for us here in South Africa, um, so I got the first jab of the vaccine, so one down, I've got to wait 42 days until my next one, so that's going to be October or so, so yeah. So as you can see in the beginning here, I'm just uh, I'm basically crafting up quite a bit of food because we're going to be spending. It was about two two and a half hours that I spent mining. Um, so I spent quite a long time down there in the mines, but it was quite a bit of fun. I uh, found a decent bit of resources. Um, this first bit was sort of me just. Uh, just trying to start a mine shaft right there by my base and like 10 levels down into the mine shaft so it's just going to be me going through the mine shaft and uh, just picking up all the resources I see along the way looking for coal iron and uh, obviously diamonds which we will get to eventually I hope um, but yeah, so this first was just collecting some some of the basic resources, some uh, some coal, some iron, copper as we go, and uh, this is about when I realized that the uh, my gamma is quite high. So even though it looks very bright, actually it's quite dark. So you'll see I make that mistake quite a bit um, later on, and I end up uh, yeah, I end up suffering because of it. But, yeah, I uh, I recorded this the other day, I uh, spent four or five hours in between working, just, uh, just, you know, working on the, on the world, and I figured I might as well get a, a decent bit of, um, resources at the beginning here, and get everything all, uh, set up and ready to go for the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm enjoying this world as it is so far. I, uh, I, um, did explore a little bit and I created a, a creative mode version of my exact spawn and I sort of just flew around the, the immediate area and just got like a, a general idea of the area and I started to formulate some of the plans that I I have for the future which is going to be uh, going to be you know just my base ideas my plans for the future stuff like that so for the most part my base is probably going to be some form of island I haven't quite decided exactly how I, I want to sort out my base yet. I uh, had the idea of an island, 
sort of uh, sort of vibe. Um, I was thinking about probably just uh, just a bunch of smaller interconnected islands. Figured that would look quite cool. And looking around in the creative mode, I uh, I saw that it's um, there's like a large lake near where my base is, with like a little river going out. I say little. It's quite a it's quite a large large body of water. But so this is where my base is going to be. And here's just me getting completely prepared for my mining session. All the uh, all the resources I'm looking for. Got lots of food, and this is about where I realized that uh, lighting everything up is extremely important. I uh, I got quite lucky with the creeper there, but yeah, you can see me panic lighting and panic running around. This is about where uh, things start to go really wrong for me. I uh, from this point on, I just run into mobs after mobs, and uh, yeah. Thankfully, I cut most of it out, but I've I must have died seven times during this, five six times during this, um, all my own fault. Blown up by creepers, shot by skeletons. Um, I got killed by baby zombies. There was like seven or eight of them that came around the corner when I was on like two hearts, destroyed me, but. Yeah, so this mining session was it was going quite slowly, but then I uh, I uh, I uh, slowly started to pick it up, lighted everything up, and you know, it was fine. Um, for the base, coming back to to the point I was on, um, as we can see, I uh, I finally found those diamonds and uh had to make sure that I uh mined every single block around them just to you know get that nice shot of the full vein. I managed to get lucky. I got myself a eight vein of diamonds, which is gonna be very useful, and I'm gonna be putting those to to good work soon um I wanna get a pickaxe pickaxe enchanting table you know work from there um so finally found the diamonds very happy about that and yeah so you see me mining them right here i was uh extremely excited about getting diamonds um been been like an hour and a half at this point looking for these diamonds and yeah i uh i found them eventually many deaths later but uh, yeah so on the base my uh, my general idea is some interconnected islands containing different parts of the base my storage system my some farms etc and until I get to the point where I'm going to be building that base I'm, uh, I'm just going to be working around my base for now and just sort of um, working around that area, so it's gonna be just working with what I've got so far, um, getting some resources, wood, stone, etc, and just sort of building a, a sort of a base in between bases, so it's basically gonna be my my mini storage system to hold everything while I build my main base. So these are all the resources that we managed to get. We got some music discs. Um, we got a Nautilus shell from a drowned that attacked us as we got back. Golden apple from the dungeon. Some dripstone as well. Uh, a decent bit of coal, decent bit of gold. Um, a bit of lapis. Uh, got the copper ingot from the the drowned. Some redstone dust, which is going to be helpful. Copper, iron, and of course the eight diamonds that you just saw and that's basically going to be the the ending off point from here we're going to end off in just a little bit and yeah I'm planning on doing a live stream pretty soon 
where I'm going to be going exploring. I'm going to explore, I'm going to take some maps with me. I'm going to go travel the world, see what I can see. Yeah, so as I was saying, it's going to be uh it's going to be a uh quite a bit of a a long live stream. We're going to be roaming around the world. I'm going to take a handful of maps with us and we're just going to try and map out a decent area and try find all of the uh the nice bits around us. What's around us? Try find some deserts, some jungle biomes, try get uh, a whole lot of items that I am going to need. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it and I will be live streaming sometime in the next week and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching guys, I will catch you guys in the next one.